Hello, welcome to another video of our channel. Here we translate testimonies of people who have gone through near-death experiences. Today we are going to know the story of Ronald. He says he met his late father at the gates of heaven. If you are not already subscribed to the channel, subscribe now. Turn on the notification bell to be notified with each new video. Now let's listen to Ronald's testimony. Hello my friends. I am very happy to contribute to this amazing community that is formed around this channel. I've been following all the videos posted for months and I have to say that it's an admirable job. I was a little embarrassed to share my story. But after hearing so many testimonies I ended up encouraging myself. My experience happened four years ago. But I remember every detail as if it were today. It was spring and I had arranged to travel with a group of friends. We would spend a few days in the countryside. My father had died less than six months ago and I was still very sad. These friends thought it would be nice to travel and breathe the country air. We left early on Saturday. On the way, we stopped to watch the sunrise, we were crossing the hills that surround the city area. We arrived around 8 a.m. It was the country house of Johnny, a childhood friend. The place was very peaceful, surrounded by trees and close to a huge lake. Johnny had two small boats so we could relax fishing on the lake. The first day was a lot of fun. We went horseback riding, had a barbecue and watched a rodeo with the skilled cowboys of the region. In the evening, after the rodeo, there was a party in the small downtown area. Whenever there is a rodeo, the city fills up, people from the surroundings arrive to participate. We stayed there, drinking and talking until about 3 in the morning. My friends met some girls, but I wasn't that excited. So I went to bed. The next day, we woke up a little later and went fishing. We packed the rods, the bait, the beers and left. There was a 500 meter trail to the lake. The walk was very beautiful, that walk was invigorating. The big city air is slowly killing us, so I was detoxing there. When we were almost there, we could already see the lake, something unexpected happened. Adrian, one of our friends, decided to cure his hangover by drinking more. So he was already a little altered. In one of the trees was a large hive of bees. We were all amazed at the size. Adrian had the terrible idea of poking at the hive with a branch he found on the ground. Well, you must have already guessed the result. He decided to disturb the wrong animals. The bees became enraged and started attacking us. We all ran, but they managed to sting some of us. The most incredible thing is that Adrian, the originator of the idea, did not receive any stings. Well, everyone who received stings suffered a little, but with me it was much more serious. I discovered a bee sting allergy in the worst way possible. My face instantly swelled up. And I started having trouble breathing. Johnny saw what was happening and picked me up, with Jack's help. The two ran back, carrying me. And they called the city's emergency medical center. Johnny realized it was an allergic reaction so that saved me, he warned the doctors. Well, I lost consciousness before I got back to my friend's house. But I lost the connection with the body little by little. First I started to hear my friend's voices more and more distant. Suddenly I wasn't feeling the swing of the walk anymore. I got very light. My vision had darkened. But when I felt that I was light my vision returned. I saw Johnny and Jack carrying my body. The feeling I had when I realized I was out of my body was incredible. It was a mixture of euphoria with absolute peace. Suddenly I was enveloped by a kind of glowing cloud. When I found myself I was no longer on the outskirts of Johnny's house. I was in a very bright place. There were clouds under my feet and a beautiful blue sky surrounding me. 
I could also see a staircase leading up to a gate. Behind that gate there was a lot of light. It was a very bright place. Then I saw a man coming down the stairs. When he got closer I could see it was my father. He looked pretty good. He went down to the level I was on. When he arrived he said, Boy, what a mess you got yourself into, huh? I noticed that he was still in the same good mood. I gave him a really tight hug and said I missed him. He consoled me by saying that he was doing very well. The earth had already become a place of much suffering for him. So when he died he had great relief. I told him that I would like to stay there, forever with him. My father replied with his characteristic sense of humor, you always wanting to skip steps, you're still the same hurried as ever. I smiled at him and didn't insist anymore. I understood that I would have to wait. But he said that one day, many years from now, we would meet again. He gave me one more hug and said that his time was up, he needed to get back. And he said that I should come back too. After that he started up the stairs towards the gate. When he was almost there, he looked back and waved his hand. Then I started to fall quickly. In the blink of an eye I was back in my body. I woke up and realized I was surrounded by people in hospital gowns. It was a doctor and two nurses. They had removed the stinger and applied an ointment to the spot. The doctor gave me a series of recommendations, said I was lucky as my friend was quick to call them. They have already arrived at the scene with the right ointment and equipment. I was embarrassed to tell about the experience, I thought my friends would laugh at me. So I kept the secret for some time. But I came back refreshed. The sadness of having lost my father has greatly diminished. I started talking to him, mentally. Of course I don't hear answers from him, but I say everything I'm feeling. After a while I told only Johnny, he tried to find some rational explanation. So he researched and discovered near-death experiences. It was only then that I began to understand what I had experienced. I am very grateful for the opportunity to have hugged my father once again. So, what did you think of this testimony? Leave your impressions in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Let's bring more people the hope that there is life beyond what the eyes can see.